Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got two cards to share with you that I have put together using the Spellbinders December 2022 a large die set. So if you wanna know how to put this full set together, you can see that in the video I posted yesterday, which is the Just the Cuts video. It gives you the full details of how to layer everything and place that together. Today I've got two different designs that I am creating using the same set. So I'm going to start out here. I have trimmed out this uh, with and love sentiment three times in citrine cardstock. And I'm going to layer these together using my art glitter glue. I'm going to do three layers of this. I think three is the perfect sort of thickness to uh, give this some weight and that way it doesn't uh, bend quite so much when I'm working with it. And it just gives it a little bit of additional sort of texture and depth onto the card. So I'm starting out here with a navy blue heart. And then for my flowers and the leaves in the background, I'm going to be using some of the same colors uh, from my Just the Cuts cards. I will list all of those below for you. I believe this is gravel. I've got some citrine. Uh, there'll be some blush, papaya and leafy I think are all of the colors that I've used but I will list them down below for you. I'm just going to be using one side of the leaves and the flowers on the heart here and I've already put my flowers together already layered those I'm just going to add some art glitter glue behind them and press them into place on top of my leaves. Now you'll notice I only put glue behind the more solid sections of that cutout with the leaves. I'm gonna pull on those leaves, pull them up a little bit just to give some more dimension and texture. And then I'm gonna take my sentiment here and lay that out, make sure it fits nicely. And then again, I will take my art glitter glue and I'll glue both of those into place. All right, so let's turn this heart into a card. I have got a panel here of, I believe that is blush cardstock, and I'm gonna use a Doris embossing folder to run that through and get these polka dots for my background. Because this is a larger heart, I'm gonna be creating some five by seven cards. That's not the usual size that I work with, but it's always nice to sort of step out of your comfort zone. So I've got this embossed here and I'm going to trim that down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I'll have a nice border around the edge of my card base. And the card base I will make um, from my usual Nina Solar White. So again, that is five by seven. I'm going to add some ATG to the back of that panel here and I'll place that down on the top of my card base. And then I'll add some art glitter glue to the back of my heart and I'm going to place that down right in the center.
For the inside, I'm on a Nina paper panel, again, measuring that six and three quarters by five and three quarters, or I'm sorry, four and three quarters. <laughs> and then I went with one of the stamps from the card kit, which reads, you're a whole lot of lovely, yes, you. That was one of my favorites from that stamp set. I'm using some Lawn Fawn Deep Sea ink for that. I will, of course, add some ATG to the back, and I'm going to place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number one. For card number two, I'm gonna pull in a set of those Lovebirds. This was the die included in the card kit. And I'd already had that put together because I really fell in love with that and I had some extras. So I thought, let's add this to the heart and mix it in with some of these florals. So to get my leaves in the background, I ended up trimming apart one of the sides of the, the heart pieces. And I'm just gonna sort of strategically place these to have the leaves and the flowers coming from behind that branch. There you see I'm just trimming things down to get them to fit, sort of tucking them in behind the birds. And then once I'm happy with that placement, I'm going to get everything glued. So here I'm going to add these leaves very, very delicately behind that branch there. There was not a lot to glue to. And same thing there, tuck that behind the bird. And then that last little piece on the opposite side there. Now I had thought about popping these up originally, but I decided that with all of those little pieces, it just was either going to take a ton of little tiny specks of pop dots or I was afraid that they might bend actually when um, this card was mailed. So I decided that I would go ahead and glue this down directly onto the heart. Here I'm attaching the flowers. And now I will add my art glitter glue behind the back of everything and press that into place on the top of my uh, pink heart. For my background, I'm using a Doris wood grain embossing folder. Again, I'm going to trim that down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I will add some ATG to the back of that and place it on top of my five by seven card base. I'll add some art glitter glue to the back of my heart and add that in the center. For the inside, I'm again on a Nina paper panel, trim to four and three quarters by six and three quarters, and I'm stamping out the sentiment, you make my heart sing. For this, I used my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. I will add some ATG to the back of that, 
and place that on the inside as well. Now, after I finished filming this, I decided that the front needed something, a little something more. So I ended up taking a quarter inch strip of that same blue cardstock and I stamped the sentiment always on that and added it along the bottom. Um, but I did not do that on camera. So you'll see in the end stills um, where I've added that. But that will complete the cards for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I've used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.